Hello, my loves. I'm Andrea, and welcome to Life As I Know It. Today, let's do some fun and easy Valentine's DIY. We're going to take our wire shape heart and our burlap ribbon, which is nine yards. Just going to take the tip of the ribbon and bring it on the back side and just add a little glue to the ribbon and the wire to attach it before we get started. Once the ribbon is attached to the wire, we're just going to take it through the heart and bring it to the other side. As I was pulling the ribbon, the first one that we attached came up just a little, so I just added some more glue. So you might have to do that. You might not. It's just that it was not secure enough for me because, like I said, you are going to pull tight on that ribbon, so you want to make sure that that first one is down and secured. This is really a fun and easy project. It's just a little work of just pulling the ribbon through the heart and just lining it up. But once you get into that rhythm move, it'll go quickly. Now we're getting down to the end of our first row. So depending on where it ends, you can just glue it there. If you don't want it on the front, you can just go ahead and just cut it and just let it end on the back. But I just went on here and glued it where it was because we're just going to take the next ribbon and go right over where we stopped. I just cut the um, beginning part off. It was just a little raggy there. And then, like I said, we're just going to take it, add some glue to it, and just continue on where we left off. So how is everyone doing? I hope that we're taking care of ourselves as we transition from January right into February. Seems like time is really moving fast. Let's enjoy the seasons that we are in, even though the stores are trying to push us quickly from one to the other. Enjoy every day. The cold, the rain, and then spring will be here before you know it. Now we're coming to the end of our second roll of ribbon. So we're going to do the same thing as we did to the first one. We're just going to add a little hot glue to the ribbon and the wire and attach it and then start another row. Now we're going to attach our third row of ribbon. Just be mindful if you use the ribbon from Dollar Store that it is nine yards and you're going to need three to complete this project. Now, you don't have to use um, burlap ribbon on any of the frames. You can use regular ribbon. My suggestion is if you are going to use ribbon, to use the ribbon with the wire because it's a little bit easier to work with and you can manipulate the wire that's in the ribbon. Dollar Store sells plenty of wire ribbon. So, like I said, you can use burlap or any kind of ribbon and you'll still get the same effect at the end. Now, as we get to the end, the heart, the way it comes down, just keep taking the ribbon and covering the frame. Just pull it. You're going to use a lot of ribbon right here because you want to make sure as you're pulling it tight that you're able to um, cover the frame. So just play with it a little bit. Pull it a little tight. Don't worry about the amount of ribbon you're going to use at the point. Just make sure you're able to cover the frame. Just keep pulling the ribbon as you cover. The hardest part is just that little tip. And you trust me, you can get the ribbon the way you want it. Just pull it and cover up. Don't worry about the amount of ribbon that you're going to use at the end because it's still going to come out nice. Only thing is, when you're done with this, make sure that you cut the ribbon and seal it on the back. We don't want it on the front. We're 
we're just going to cut the edges off and add a little glue and then we're just going to secure the end to our frame and we are done now we're going to add some leftover picks that we have from another project to this heart I've removed the hearts from the sticks and all I'm going to do is add just a little glue and put them in between the little pockets of the ribbon. Now I only had these three little pink hearts left over from another project so you know what I decided I'm just going to put some flowers in between just to jizz it up just a little not too much and i got these flowers these are the little roses from the dollar store and they had them in pink red yellow and purple i am loving these little roses if you see them i would definitely grab at least two because i'm definitely going to go back and see if i can find the purple i think adding the flowers was a nice touch So we're going to take and paint our little hearts, pink and red, and then we're just going to take some ribbon and make a bow to put on top of the hearts. And you know we're going to make our famous cheap bow where we just take a piece of ribbon, glue it together, and then take another piece and wrap it around to give it that little bow effect. So we're going to make two um, bows for our hearts. We're just going to add one of the little flowers to the front of the bow. We got this sign from Target after Christmas. It was $3. We got it for $1.50. So now we're just going to take and add some glue to the back of the hearts. And we're going to place them on top of our sign. Now that we have our hearts in place, we're going to put down our letters to see if we have enough room and like the way it is before we actually glue it down. Now, the funny thing about these letters are there's 26 in the pack because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. But when I went to open the pack, I'm like, wait a minute, it dawned on me. They didn't give you anything extra. So depending on what you want to put down as far as writing, whatever sayings you would have put, you only get one letter per pack. So it depends on what you need these for. You might have to go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, use a coupon and get a bigger pack with extra letters in there. Just saying, depend on what you want to put down. Since we're only putting love you, it worked out fine. So since there was only one O in the pack, I'm just going to use the letter U because I really just didn't want to open a second pack just to take out the L. And once we put down our U, we are done with this project. We're going to take the love sign from the dollar store and some white Waverly paint. You do not have to use um, Waverly. You can use acrylic paint. I uh, used two, um, two coats to cover it. I'm going to take some decorative mask that we had left over from another project in pink and red. You can make it all one color or you're going to make it two or multiple colors. So I'm cut it three to four inches. I'm going to roll them up and then I'm going to crisscross them and take a stick pin and attach them to the foam ball. Now I'm not going to cover the whole ball because we're going to take the ball and stick it inside the love sign. So once we're satisfied that the whole front is covered and you can't see the foam ball, then I just added a little glue. You don't need to use the glue if you don't want, because you can just push it all the way through. But I just do use a little glue just to um, give it a little security back there. Now 
We're going to take this heart from the Dollar Tree and we're going to paint it red and white. Now that our sign is red and white, we just want to add a little black paint just in the middle just to cover up the um, wood showing through. We got this little wooden sign from the home decor section. I just peeled off the home part in gold. It came off very easy. And then we're just going to take the um, glue stick, the Elmer's glue stick, put some glue on the back and attach it to our sign. Once you have enough glue on there, we're just going to attach it to our sign. We're going to pat it down, make sure it's sticking to the sign. And then we are done with this project. I got this paper from Hobby Lobby and a heart from the dollar store. So we're just going to cut the paper to the shape of the heart and attach it. And once we do that, we're just going to sand down the edges that are left over from the paper sticking out. So that's the first quick and easy part of our project. I took some greenery from the mini red roses. So I'm just going to attach that to the side with some hot glue. We're going to take some of the white roses and add them on top of the fern. After adding the three white roses, decided to add some of those small um, pink roses from the rest of that stem to complete our project. Well, my loves, that is the end of our fun, easy Valentine's DIY. Um, leave me a comment and let me know. Do you like me just pushing past certain things once I show you what I'm doing and then come back to it when I'm completed? Or do you actually want to watch me paint the sign or wrap the item? So leave me a comment and let me know. And as always, thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. Your time is truly appreciated. And I thank you. Subscribe to my channel. 
hit that notification button so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Have a blessed day. And remember, it costs nothing to be kind. And I will see you in our next video.